in the witness statement. That is Unless a... you insist that I repeat, then perhaps okay. I can do that. I see. Yes, ma'am. Um, who was a close associate um, of the former president cannot be a matter of confidentiality. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. okay. Let me put it this way. Um, maybe close associates is a, is a judgment. Who, in terms of civilians, let's start with you. You've told us about the, the, some of the military who were there. We'll come back to that. Okay. In terms of civilians, okay. who did the president deal with? Okay, I will mention those I used to see at State House. Yes. And actually, I didn't mention them before because you had given me somebody the... Whatever you said in your statement, the commission is not privy to. Okay, okay. Yet. Okay. It, it's on the course okay. of investigation. Okay, yes. okay, I didn't know, yes. Okay, All right. Okay. okay, those I used to see there, Yes, those you used okay, to see there. Okay, one is Mr. Mohamed Bazi. Okay. And then there is this gentleman they call uh, Nikolai Buzainu. Can you spell it? N-I-C-O-L-A-E, I think. L-A-E? Yes, B-U-Z-A-I-N-U. B-U-Z-A-I-M-U. N, N, N. N U. Yes, please. Okay. The Mr. Tony Katas. Okay. The, the president's in law, brother in law, used to come there too. Uh, they call him Mr. Tibu, Tibu Kamara. Mr. I think Tibu, Tibu Kamara. Can you spell it? I think it's T I B U. T I B U or T I B O U. D I B U. Yes. Ka Kamara. Yes, please. You said the president's brother-in-law. Yes, he is, he is um, husband to the wife's sister. Which, which wife? The Just former president's wife, yes. That's M Mrs. Zainab. Jaw yes, please, yes, please, yes. Zainab. Uh, yes, please. I used to see Mr. Amadou Samba too. How many do you have? I think. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yes, for now I think that's what I can remember. Okay. Now let's just go back over the names. Muhammad Bazi. Yes, please. B A Z Z I. Yes, please. Um, did he come in the company of any other people? Just himself, or he came with others? Okay, um, I, I think I used to see him alone. Okay. To see him alone. Do you know Mr. Fadi Mage Mazegi? Mag Mr. Magezi, Mr. Fadi. No, no, no. Okay. This Nikolai Buzeno, yes, who is he? Okay, at uh, the time I left office, he was our uh, ambassador to the Principality of Monaco in France. Principality of Monaco in France. He was our ambassador. But before then, he held the position of ambassador to the UAE. United, um, United Arab Emirates. Yes, please. Gambia's ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. Based in Abu Dhabi? Yes, please. Then. Okay. Oh, at, as at the time you left the office in 2016, what position did he hold? He was our ambassador to the Principality of Monaco in France. Okay. Did he have any business interest in the Gambia as far yes, as you know? Yes, he does. Do you recollect his business interest? He's the proprietor of um, the Ozone Bay Hotel. It's, it's leased to his company. Yes. As well as Westwood Company. Westwood, Westwood Company. Company. Yes. He wanted to go into oil prospecting as well, but that. He wanted to. To go into oil prospecting as well, 
He wanted, for that, okay. For that one, I don't think it, uh, you know, it, it happened. It succeeded. It succeeded, yes. Okay. What about Mr. Mohammed Bazi? Did you, do you know anything about his business interests? Yes, Mohammed Bazi is the proprietor of Euro African Group Limited. He is the proprietor of? Euro African Group Limited. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the only company you know? Yes, that's the only company I know that he deals in directly, yes. What about Tony Gattas? Tony Gattas is the, at the time I left, he was the CEO of um, the company they call APAM. Okay. I, I think it's Alhamdulillah uh, Mining and Petroleum Compa Company, I think, yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah Petroleum and Mining Company, yes. This Jibu Kamara, brother of Zainab Jami. Jibu is T, D I B U. D I B U. T, T. T. As in Thomas, yes. Okay, Tibu. Is that his proper name? I, that's, that's how I know him. That's, why, that's what I hear people call him. Okay, Tibu. Did he have business interests? I don't know he has business interests. Was he the only relative that you were aware came to the office? Yes, yes. Of course, the, the former first lady's brother too was there. He used to come there. The former? The former first lady's brother. The which, which former first lady? The Zainab Jame, yes. The? Zainab, Zainab Jame. At, okay. He, he's her brother. Her brother, yes, please. That, that's not Tibu Kamara. No, no, no. Tibu is the, is the sister's husband. Oh, Tibu is the sister's husband. Yes, Tibu is Zainab's sister's husband. Do you know Zainab's sister's name? No, please, I don't. Okay. What is his brother's name, her brother's name? I think, I think it's Abu Bakar. Abu Bakar, yes. Okay. In relation to Mr. Amadou Samba, what, do you know his business interests? Um, no. Okay. No. All right. Well. Madam, you may have a look at this, please. Um, this is a document in relation to Mr. Mohammed Bazi, business interest. Well, I'm applying to have it admitted. Have the document, a document dated 10 August 2013, addressed to Mr. Mohammed Bazi from the Office of the President. Admitted. That, that's the only copy I have, please. We, you can take a, a copy back from the Secretariat afterwards.
Uh, Mr. Ture, yes, having been in the office of the president in two senior positions for four years, yes, what do you know of his business interests? Um, the, I know he conducts business through Kanilai Group International. Sorry? Repeat that, sorry. I'm saying I know he conducts business. Hold it, hold on. Could you wait, please, until yes, we please. mark the document? Confidential letter dated 10th August 2010 from Office of the President to Mohamed Bazi, Managing Director of Euro African Group, Re Fuel Importation, admitted Mark MS41. <clears throat> thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, you are telling us about the president's, the former president's business. Yes, interest. yes. I'm saying I know he conducted his business through Canelai Group International, which um, had uh, a few subsidiaries that I'm aware of. And one of them is the Canelai Family Farm. Mm -hmm. That was the Canelai Family Garage. Yeah. There was... Um, I think the green industries, the green industries, green industries. Okay. Can I like bakery? Can I like bakery? Yes, please. Can I like bakery? I think those are the ones I can remember now. Okay, thank you. Are you aware of any assets that he <coughs> acquired during the period you were there? Yes, I'm aware. Yes. At least one. Mm -hmm. He acquired the, the Dunes Casino. Dunes? Dunes, Dunes, Dunes Casino and Resort. When was Dunes? That's the hotel at... Uh, Just behind here, yes. Palmarima. Yeah, behind Palmarima, yes, please. Can I make reference to my documents? Sorry? To tell you the date, can I make reference to the documents? Yes, yes, sure. Okay. Actually, this was procured with funds from the petroleum account. The pet which of the petroleum account? It's either the Sky Bank or Granite Trust Bank. But I have seen documents where the hotel was registered in the name of Canadian Life Family Farms even though it was bought with state funds. It was born, bought with uh, funds from the GNPC account yes, please. in one of the banks, yes. commercial banks, yes. Sky or Guarantee Yes, I, I, I can show you. I have evidence to that effect. Certainly. That would be helpful.
It's, yeah, it's a minute from, from one of the files. Sorry. This what? is a minute from? From, the, from one of the files, but I can't remember which file I, I took it from. This is a, sorry, I didn't hear that. I say it's a minute I copied from... One of the files? Files, yes, because okay. I, I drafted the instruction to the bank for him to sign. You drafted the instruction? To the bank for him to sign. For the, the former president? The former president yes, to please. sign. And this is with regard to the payment to Mr. David Ford yes, for please. the purchase of Dunes Hotel? Yes, please. And if, if the bank should provide their records, it will be the withdrawal form request will be there. The withdrawal form should yes, be there. Yes, should be there. Okay. Do you recollect how much money it was? Um, uh, exactly what is stated in the minute, please. I no, don't know it offered. No amount seems to be stated. There is, there is an amount. Uh, uh, Would you like to look at it again? There's no amount. Okay. But in any case, the 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 address, the the payee address. Is it not stated in the, in the minutes? No, it says payment uh, from the GNPC account at Guaranteed Trust Bank. That's right. That's what it says. To Mr. David Ford. That's all. Would to you like to, Mr. David, payment to Mr. David Ford for the purchase of Dunes Hotel from the GNPC account at Guaranteed Trust Bank? Yes. The details would be at the Guaranteed Trust Bank. Very well. Thank you. And this is a minute yes. uh, from Mr. Momodu Sabali to His Excellency. Yes, please. Dated the 2nd of November 2013. Yes, please. And the handwritten words at the bottom. Yes, please. Which says MOPASG approved as discussed. Yes, please. And with the signature. Whose yes. signature is that, that? Is, that is the signature of the former president, Yahya Jami. All right. And you are saying also that um, the, the documents, the property was assigned to Kanilai Group yes. International. Yes. KGI, do you have any other document yes, related to that? Sorry, I still ha I have it. I, have, I just. Uh... No, that, that's fine. Yes. Take your time. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Who prepared? Do you recollect who prepared the transfer, the transaction? Uh, the, it was the, the former minister. Uh, the, uh, it was either minister or solicitor general at, it, at, at the. Then. The attorney general. Yes, he was either attorney general or minister of justice at the time. The solicitor general or minister of justice at yes, the time. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay, maybe we'll give you. This? Maybe I'm... we'll give you time to look for it. Yeah, certainly I have it. You have it? Okay. Oh, yes, I do. I just don't know in which lot I put it, but I have it.
sorry, I seem to have a lot of documents. Sorry, I'm sure we will not finish today. What we'll do is ask you to note it. Okay. And tomorrow we have to continue tomorrow, and that you can bring it with you. Yes. That will give you time to look for it properly. No, yes. In fact, as soon as I step out of this place, I'll give it to them. I have it. Very well. That, that's fine. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm applying to have admitted a copy of a minute between the um, then Secretary General, Momodou Sabali, to the, uh, the ex-president, dated the 2nd of November 2013 and 4th November 2013, with respect to the purchase of Dunes Hotel. Well, this, this uh, inter alia, you, you've seen it. This were his explicit instructions. Thank you. The former president's explicit instructions. These were the former president's explicit, explicit instructions. instructions. Yes. Among, among other instructions, Mr. Chairman. Yes. That is the instruction number two. <clears throat> Minute dated 2nd November 2013 from Momodou Sabali, Secretary General, to ex President Jamme regarding request withdrawals from 
GNPC account at Skybank and GNPC account at Guaranteed Trust Bank. Admitted Mark MS42. Um, Mr. Ture. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> And you say the Dunes Hotel was transferred into the name of Canelai Group International or Canelai Family Farms? Canelai Family Farms, yes, Canilai because Canilai the record Family. I have shows that. Okay. And I want to believe that record. All right. Very well. Um, is that the only asset you are aware of that he bought? Um, that is the one I'm aware that he purchased whilst I was in office. Sorry? I said that's the one I'm aware that he purchased while I was in office. Okay. While I was in office. Who at the, at the office of the president would, was responsible for, in a way, of the president's assets? Was there anyone? For? For the president's assets, these transactions. Um, or it would be the secretary? Not in the, I don't think in the official, sorry, in the civil circle. I, I think in the military circle, yes. The, the, the military circle within the state house, yes. The? The mil military circle within the state the house. The military circle people yes. were responsible. Yes. Do you, know, do you know of or are you aware of in any way um, any business interest he has out of the jurisdiction? No, please. Okay. You, you would not know? I would not know, please. That's right. Did you handle any transactions for him whilst you were in office, whether as PS or as Secretary to Cabinet? Official, official transactions? Yes. 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 Did you handle any transactions for official, him? Yes. Ofi sorry? Official transactions, yes. Official transactions? Yes. Is that one of the official transactions? Yes. One of them. This is the nature of some of the official transactions. Some of the yes. Purchasing orders, of Dunes Hotel. Yes. In orders, but mostly this, the transactions are issued through the Secretary General, not directly to me. Okay. They are issued through the Secretary General, okay. and then we would carry the instruction. Yes. You have to speak up a little bit. I'm having difficulty. Yes. I think it's the sound of the message. I'm saying that um, the instructions are issued through the Secretary General. Okay. The official instructions that I carry out yes. are issued, were issued through the Secretary General. All right. And then we would take action. What were your responsibilities as Secretary to Cabinet? Okay, my primary responsibility as Secretary to Cabinet was to attend Cabinet meetings, meetings of Cabinet, take notes, and prepare minutes of those meetings or that meeting. That was my primary responsibility. Um, Mr. Ture, we have come across various accounts operated from the office of the president. Yes, please. In respect of which you were signatories as correct. well. That you is correct. You haven't mentioned those. No, I'm saying my main. Ah, your main responsibility. That's what I said. So what are your other responsibilities? The other responsibilities, um, I would attend uh, meetings on behalf of the Secretary General. I was made signatory to accounts operated by you the were, office of the president. You were a signatory? Yes, co-signatory. I was uh, co-signatory with the Secretary General. The Secretary General would be the main signatory and I would be the co-signatory. When, when, um, when did you be start becoming signatory to these accounts? When I was made um, both as, as uh, Secretary of Cabinet and Permanent Secretary 1. Okay. Is there any policy document at the office of the president any policy document mm -hmm. at the office of the president yes, please. detailing who can be a signatory to an account and who should not be a signatory to an account? That was decided by the former president. There was no policy? No, there was written no policy. policy was, document? Yes. And in fact, I have the court to show that one of the secretaries general said he wasn't going to sign. He didn't want to sign the accounts. And the president replied that he did not have a choice. He has to sign. I have the proof here. Which Secretary General was it? That was Dr. Bayo, Khalidu Bayo. Khalidu Bayo. At the time, yes. 
The minute that he sent to him to say he doesn't have a choice, he has to sign, I have it. If you have it, give it to us. Yes, ma'am, I'll give it to you. Okay. It was coercive, you know, you didn't have a choice, you have to sign. I will note it down because uh, if I have to shift three papers, you'll note it down. Yes, I, okay, can you yeah, list it down? Right. It down. Okay. So, the first document which you're trying to look at is the Contact transact dunes. concerning Dunes, dunes Hotel, yes. Yes. and this one is the minute that you said you had yes. seen concerning Mr. Kali Dubai. So, you are saying, okay. no, just take note of it. Now, you are saying you are a signatory because you had to be a signatory. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. Because I remember also that um, at some point in the office, when, I was, um, when he removed me from being signatory and appointed somebody else, I was happy that I, had, I didn't have to sign. But that person was sad that she had to sign. That person was? I said the person was not happy that she had to sign. Sad that she had to sign. Okay. But well, we didn't want to you know, have anything to do with the accounts. But you know, you would not have a choice. All right. Now you were a permanent secretary. Um, you said um, in various positions before you finally became permanent secretary. Yes, please. Office of the President. Yes, please. Now, you are familiar with uh, financial instructions? Yes, to some extent, yes. To yes, some as extent. PS, you know, you are accounting officer. When you become PS, you become accounting officer. That is correct. Now, we've been told for the office of the president is yes. the secretary general who was accounting officer. That is correct, ma'am. Um, uh, clearly, and confirm this if it is correct, there is nothing under FIO in any other, there is nothing in the financial instructions or any other policies of government under which the secretary to cabinet could sign, could, could become signatory to the account. Is no. that correct? No. Ordinarily, that, the secretary to cabinet shouldn't be. Ordinarily, the secretary to cabinet shouldn't be. Should not be signatory no, to the account. No, should not be signatory to accounts. Okay. So basically, you're signatory because the president said you must be a signatory. Yes, ma'am. That is correct. I see. All right. Um, Mr. Ture, we will yes. have to take you through the various transactions. Yes, ma'am. Um, in various accounts, because there are many of them. That is correct. Um, that um, you were signatory to. That is true. Right? Now, do you recollect the International Gateway account? Yes, ma'am, I do. There were two International Gateway accounts, well, the same account, but one was closed and another opened. First, the International Gateway account, mm -hmm. and then you had the um, Vision 2016 account. Vision 2016 Special Projects account. Okay. Now, you, you were a signatory to the International Gateway account. That is correct. What is the International Gateway account about? The, the account is, uh, was held at the Central Bank, and um, it lodged proceeds from the gateway, the telecoms gateway that was managed at the time by Tel, a company called Tel, on behalf of Gamtel. So proceeds from international calls in and out will be paid into that account. Okay. That's the nature of the account. What has that account got to do with the office of the president? Um, the, I remember that the monies were paid to Gamtel. They were paid to? Gamtel, Gamtel. Mm -hmm. But an instruction was issued by the former president that an account, that an account should be opened at the State House, sorry, at the Office of the President. Not, not, not at the Office of the President. The account should be opened by the Office of the President at the Central Bank for those monies to be lodged in. Because then, you know, he said he was not pleased with the way the funds were managed by Gamtel. I had him say that. Okay. Do you, you, do, you, do you happen to have a copy of that instruction? That an account should be opened? Yes. 
No. Uh, I don't have it yet. You but don't it have would that be one. a decentral bank. No, that's fine. That, that's yes. fine. So these were funds that were intended for Gamtel? Yes, ma'am. That's correct. And Gamtel has written separately to to, to get money from the from the accounts, but he, he would say no. That is record to that effect. Repeat that, sorry. I'm saying that Gamtel would write to request access to those funds, but he would say no. I see. All that could be found in the files at the office, if they are still there. Okay. Do you recollect the particular file relating to this matter and what it would be called? It must be, it would be called the uh, telecommunications file. It should be one of the white files at the office. The white files? Yes, please. These are the PRC files? Yes, ma'am. That's correct. Can we have exhibit CB18, please? Show it to the witness. Exhibit CB18. Let's have it. Yeah, it's a bundle, so let's have the bundle. Here. Now, the first transaction, I would like you to explain if you can, at, uh, from the international gateway account, which you confirmed at the time, yes, was being operated by TEL, yes, and therefore monies lodged in, into this account were paid in by TEL. Yes, please, that's correct. The first transaction is a withdrawal of 610,000 US dollars from the account, which you and Momodu Sabali gave instructions for. This is a by letter dated 8 October 2013 to the governor of the central bank, and which sum was collected according to the record we have, and the evidence from the central bank was received by Muhammadu Batata S. Juara. Do you have an explanation for this? Yes, I remember, I, I have information concerning that transaction. That's, I want to give it to you. Okay. You have some documents? Yes, ma'am, I do. Tell us it, what document that is. It's, it's a minute. Minute from who? A, a minute um, by the Secretary General, which His Excellency approved at the time. Okay. And it was done as if at his instance, at the instance of the President. So what was the minute to the President about? The... I, I should read that. Yes, yes, yes. There's it a minute, you said, a minute from the Secretary General yes. to the President. And the Secretary General at the time was? Was uh, Mr. Savali, Mahmoud Savali. Yes. And what does it say? It says, um, Sir, following our discussion on the issue of the Tawaski Ram sales. Can you please speak up so that we can hear? Uh, following our discussion on the issue of the Tawaski Ram sale. Hold it. Yes, hold it. yes, sir. That's not in evidence, is it? No, no, not yet. Yeah, well. It has to get into evidence before I read you that. start reading the contents. Okay. Ah, all right. Sorry, we have been yeah. following 
doing the reverse actually. So that, that's fine. I mean, let's have it. What is the date of the minute? The, the date of the minute is uh, on the 10th of, um, uh, on the 8th of October 2013. I think it's the reverse. Yes. 8th October 2013. 8th of October 2013. Yes, ma'am. And you are saying it's a minute in relation to this sum of 610,000 US dollars? 610,000 US dollars, yes. In fact, I have a copy of the instructions. Is there a response to the minute from the Secretary General, from the President to the Secretary General? Yes, he approved it. It's all, it's all there. Yeah, okay, let's have it. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I would like to apply to have admitted a letter dated 8 October 2013, a letter of instruction um, dated 8 October 2013, which is a copy of the instructions from Noha Ture to Mumud and Mumudu Sabare to Governor of Central Bank, and attached to that letter it's a minute from Momodu Sabali addressed to ex-president. His ex address to him as Your Excellency. This follows um, an instruction, verbal instruction to... Okay, wait, wait until it's admitted. Okay. Then you can explain further. <clears throat>
letter dated 8th October 2013 from Office of the President to the Governor Central Bank re withdrawal of funds and accompanying minutes from Secretary General Mahmoud Sabali approved by ex-President Jammeh, admitted Mark MS-43. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Could you mark it and let the witness have it, please? Thank you. Sorry, ma, that's the only copy I have. Yes, we will. We will make copies. We'll go to the secretary for a copy to be made for you. Kindly give the document to the witness, please. give the document to the witness. Could you give the document to the witness? Excuse me, ma. Excuse me, yeah. No, I have found one of the documents that I was looking for. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let's deal let's deal with this one first. The, the document is marked MS50. Could you read the minute in respect of the sum of MS? MS43. It says. Um, the minute from Mr. Sabali to ex president says, and the, um, his reply. Following our discussion on the issue of Tobaski Ram sale, I have identified the recently opened International Gateway account at the Central Bank as having some money. Please speak up. Mm -hmm. You can hear. Okay. Sir, following a discussion on the issue of Tobaski Ram sale, I have identified the recently opened International Telecommunications Gateway account at the Central Bank of the Gambia as having some money. Being government, government uh, that's the amount, 610852 US dollars. Being government revenue paid in by TEL on 28th September 2013, I respectfully propose that my humble self and Secretary of Cabinet be signatories to the account. The amount will be reimbursed to the account once the RAM sale is over. And then the former president approved it. Okay. Well, thank but you. I, I was going to say something that, um, you know, some of this were verbal instructions to Mr. Sabadi. So, some of this? They were verbal instructions to Mr. Sabadi. But I would advise him to originate a minute. No, that, that's fine. The document speaks for itself, Mr. Okay. Turib. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Right. So after this instruction was received, what ha what happens? How did you, do you come to sign um, this withdrawal? Yes, we do letter the letter of withdrawal. We do the letter and send it to the central bank. You were you were asked to issue a letter. Pardon? How how does it work? How does it work? He says approved. When after the president says approved, what happens? Yeah, when he says approved, then we do the letter to the central bank. I see. Okay. Who is Mr. Mohamed Batata Juara? 
Uh, he was the chief of protocol, I think, at the time. I see. So he went to receive the money, that's what it say, says here. Uh, yeah, sorry, either, de either deputy chief of protocol or chief of protocol. Either chief of protocol or, or deputy. deputy. Yes. All right, that's fine. At that time, yes. So he received the money, and then what happened? Do you know? Um, no, I wouldn't know. In this okay. case, I who was responsible for ram sales at the office of the president? Uh, it was the the, 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 state, the the state guard, yes, the state guard, the soldiers. The state guard. Yes, please. Thank you. Now you are just drawing my attention to a document that you said you found. What what was it? Yes, ma'am. It has to do with the the issue of signatories to the account. What Dr. about it? Dr. Kalbayo, you know, I mentioned... Oh, all right. That, um, what you mentioned about Dr. Dr. Bayo? Yes. You know, it Kalidu, was, uh, Kalidu uh, Bayo. Bayo. Yeah, I was just putting it in context that um, we didn't have a choice but to sign. There was yeah, somebody who was... And you'd like to have it admitted? Yes, please. Okay. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted a minute um, from minutes from the witness Noha Ture and um, a minute from what um, purports to be, I believe, the ex-president, subject to the witnesses uh, for the evidence.
minute dated 27 July 2014, signed by ex-president Jame, stating that, quote, Secretary General cannot choose whether or not to be a signatory. He must be a signatory to replace Mr. Salah. Unquote. Mark, um, admitted marked MS44. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, I think this is a very good time to stop. And so we will rise. We'll be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning.